I make custom made wigs for military veterans. I own a prescription wig company. Okay. And there you guys for all the cousins in the comment section talking about her wigs mm -hmm. in the background. Okay. Don't forget we gotta wait seven seconds, Taya. So this is Taya San Antonio, Texas, 48 Aries, retired army major, also a business owner. No biological kids. She did adopt her nephew. And those are custom made prescription wigs behind her. All right. Um, what kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for a, an intentional man that's patient and um, is done being a rebound. He's not bitter. He's confident in himself and secure. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Wait seven seconds. Deal breakers are womanizers and bitter men that don't know how to take care of themselves that depend on a woman. I'm not here to raise, I, I'm not here for build a man. I, I, I'm done with that. So deal breakers is bad credit. And, and uh, no direction, meaning he doesn't know where he's going every day. No he's not inspired by something. There we go. Well, I guess we stop it here. You, you, you keep. You, she, she wants somebody hitting on something. Granted, every woman do. Do you? Are you the woman that's going to inspire a Negro to get up and do something? We got to ask ourselves these questions when we asking ourselves these questions. All right, <laughs> here we go. So, first things first. All right, what do men desire? They desire femininity, fitness, cooperation. These three things, pretty much above all. All right, let's see what we got here on the screen. Uh, let's see. Let's check the box for femininity. Let's see if it's there. Oh shit! Heck, no, <laughs> I see. I see a scowl of nug nugs pass. Nope. Uh, fitness, uh, have yet to see the Kendrick cam, but I ain't gonna hold my breath. Cooperation, she sat up here to talk about what she she can't, she just read off her terroristic threats. Cooperation, taint in the room, it ain't looking good. This woman, she's a retired army major. All right, so whoa, hmm. what a major, all right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Yes, I have to be attracted to him. <laughs> he has to, I love a fit man. I'm retired from the army. I've been retired for five years, but I still keep it in line. Um, but the, Good maintenance, man sculpting. That's that's not a not afraid to take care of himself. So okay. Um, what about money? Do we gotta make a certain amount of money? Mm -hmm. You ain't bills and no more, man. Wait seven seconds. Yes, I have a pension. So I have a pension and a business. Not I'm not here to take care of a man. So if he does not bring in over a hundred thousand dollars what after tax what he don't need to apply I, i'm looking what? To, i what? i'm looking for a franchise player not a rookie of the year rookie Woo! of the year go comes and go I, I i need a lebron james i need Woo! i need franchise he doesn't have to be an athletic but i, I need a man that's confident in himself building in his community and building in himself Glad you said that. I got a real confident man for you, Auntie. Uh, Al Green. Okay. I'm so in love with you. Oh, whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm talking about Tony. It's all right with me. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Cause you make me. There you go. There you go. Auntie. That's him. 
No 100K, but that's him. He confident. He, he, he confident in a mama jamma. Yeah, whoa, she hit the gas pedal. She ripped the brakes. Clean up out this Oldsmobile. She said, "Ah, she said, look, I'm tired of playing with y'all up here. I need a hundred K. I need him. I need Mr. LeBron James, him mother flipping self. I need all that. She said, I need a champion, top tier, elite. Give him here. <laughs> I know I'm half a hundo. I know I'm I'm more masculine than the damn boots I used to wear for my occupation, but give me him. Capital H, capital I, capital M. Give him to me. So, uh, Major Payne, uh, I hate, or <laughs> Bonquisha, Major Bonquisha. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we go. We're going to let her cook. We got a cash app coming in. Yeah, King Auntie. Let her keep flexing, y'all. Let her keep flexing. <laughs> keep flexing. She said she don't want no bitch bar player. You got to be the starting five, the biggest one, LeBron James. Now, LeBron James is the most popular NBA player in the whole entire world. Now, she's not saying LeBron James and self, but just wherever you are in life, yes. be the yes. LeBron James. Be, and be a, be a king, not a joker. Uh, I am not a trophy. I'm a queen. <laughs> There's a difference. You can push a trophy off what? the shelf. <laughs> the trophy can't take care of the kingdom when the king is gone. So if you are looking for a little girl to just be cute, I'm not her. <laughs> if you're looking for someone to protect the kingdom and help you bring the bread home, <laughs> holler at me. Otherwise, I, I don't even <laughs> have the time. I'm, I'm, I'm done with fixer bears and uh being a rebound recovery I, I need somebody that's intentional <laughs> okay Hi, no i've never been married. been married i was married to the army for 22 years okay. so not many guys like to date that was marriage ever your goal you know i, I never put marriage on my vision board <laughs> ever before in my life <laughs> and but companionship and yes i would i would love to be married one day i don't knock it but i don't i also don't need it because i i'm good with me and my bronco I, i'm good with me, me and my gray hair bruh oh you're good with you and your dog not bronco so, <sighs> not saying that this is the case but if you don't find a man that you know bare minimum your salary requirement that wants to date you in the way you deserve to be dated, you're okay with just not having no. So me. I date, you know, I, I, I got a lot, I have a nice bench. <laughs> you know, you got a different guy for different things. If I want to go to a hockey game, it's typically not the guy that goes to the football game that goes to the baseball game. I'm not calling a hockey guy to pray for me. So I, I have fillers, <laughs> but I would love to have, you know, somebody to have eight of the 10 that's consistent, that doesn't have eight other women. Where are you at? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all yeah, heard it. Rest in peace to the Godfather. Whoa, Mr. Walker. <laughs> Bronco. Bronco. Come on, boy. Over here, boy. Come on, Bronco. You know what night it is, Bronco. It's, it's, it's peanut butter night. It's... Uh -huh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh, Bronco. Pray for Bronco. Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate. This sister, you know, thank her for her service. She was a whole major pain in the military. We got to, as just as humans, men and women, we got to accept, you, you know, the lifestyles and uh, the consequences i guess of our occupations yeah you was a whole big strong handsome violent man for a career and and now you want him you won't you won't mr mr top tier executive man and you shan't never see him under no circumstance <laughs> yeah, this is wild shout out to be Wyatt. he says she's a 10-day contract at best veterans minimum yeah. Yeah. 
Look at her face. She looked like she will put you in a full Nelson, man. It's just ain't it. It's just you got to learn to be more, more nicer. <laughs> well, shout out to Tracy Ann for the cash out. She says, I see we are filling up the mental hospital, the mental hospitals fast or not. They don't exist. They are amongst us. Can we, here we go, business. Can we open up a uh, a psych war, a mental home? That, that'd be, that'll be an adventure. Yeah. One of those nice old time. Can we like get donated an old like Catholic church? And we cram, you know, uh, mental bone quiche and nug nugs in there. Medicate them, lobotomize them. Be a whole deal. Here we go. My God, Don. Don chose violence tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don has spun the block. He says, put her in the sub expeditiously. Uh, <laughs> oh, sister. Yeah. It's no all pity. bad tonight. We can't get through. All right, maybe yeah, we we'll get the Kendra Cam, I guess. Well, I guess I guess we'll check this Kendra Cam since we're here. There we and go. Straight let's, to the sub. Let's let's see if she got any room to be talking as she talking. Okay, it doesn't have eight other women. Okay. So Taya, let's see after look we already did that, right? We did money. Oh. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Tiny came in here. She ain't she ain't said it not once. Come mm -hmm. right or don't come at all. Yeah. I don't know. Uh she's she 50 years old. She 50 no kids. If she was like we always say, it's getting yeah. cliche. If she was with her husband for you know 15 years or whatever, he would honor and respect, but she was married to the military, she said. So the sub awaits <laughs> down periscope. That's all. So I'll take it back another second for the people in the back while the sub is doing this thing. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Like, hey, if she with her husband of 10, 15 years, it's all good. But if she wouldn't, then she wouldn't be here, obviously. But no, here she is. No kids. Got, got grandma body. It's unfortunate. Now listen here, I'm gonna tell you right. If y'all don't think this this sergeant, she was she was clashing military meets. Oh. Yeah, man, stop the bull jive. Yeah, these handsome boys move like handsome boys, and they do what handsome boys do, and they out here clapping cheeks, smashing clapping cheeks and smashing meats. That's it. So. For sure, she's a military. We all know how that goes. She, like Mr. Walker said. Girl, I'm talking body to body. Cheek to cheek. That's all. So, shout out to Don Jeter coming through. To the sub, auntie. To the sub. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, it's it's the demands. It's the demands of a hundred k after you half a hundo. That's past midlife. Yeah, these sisters past midlife, over halfway through their life, and talking about give me the le cream of le crop. Absolute madness. I see my guy Trey. Trey said that's the new lazy army. Uh, Q come through decent shape 48, but then there's the rest of her deal with yeah, she a whole boy. <laughs> but she went on to say, I guess the back of that, she talked about she got like lupus and alopecia and all that. So she must be bald head. And she's she she say she sell wigs to people, you know, to the military folks. So she got some kind of contract, she get to the bag, but. And, and that's fine. Just keep doing that. And you good, sister. That's why she said, I'm good with my dog. And f fair. 
And only thing Kev used to say, he said, if you can make it to the end of your life with the resources that you have acquired, then you're good to go. But that's what his concern was. He said, come to realize a lot of y'all sisters don't have what it takes to make it to the end of y'all life uh, comfortably by yourself. Then y'all is failing. Y'all winding up shacking up together, homeless, all of the above. But if she can manage... Go ahead. You and uh what's her dog name? The uh, Thor freaking Rufus. Bronco. Yeah, Bronco. Oh, you know Bronco. <laughs> right off into the sunset together. She named her dog Bronco. She's a masculine boy. <laughs> oh, it's probably a bull massive or something, something big. She said a great dane. Uh, not a great dane, uh greyhound. So she got a greyhound. There you go. And shout out to my guy Don. We appreciate you, Don says. This good Don, walk him down slow, please. <laughs> yeah. <Boom -takalaka. laughs> so here we go. We got another one for y'all, man. We just get warmed up. So hit the like button. Where we at? Oh man, we down about a hundo. Whoa. 